Mike Comtech here coming at you with another video. I guess now you know where the uh, LCD eyes went. They went into a uh, skull that I purchased from Tractor Supply. That was $17 and I, cause I already had, already had these on order and I thought, when I saw that skull, I thought, you know what? It, that one's big enough. I bet those eyes will fit in there. So I did a, just basically on a hunch with my, um, kind of knew what these were as far as dimension wise. And then I did a measurement across here at the store. And I thought, you know, yeah, that probably would fit in because actually there's a, a white bracket you could remove if you had to, and it would get down to a smaller uh, LCD screen. These are um, 2.5 inch IPS. These are uh, in-plane switching displays. They're very, very high quality. You get to the, uh, let me uh, get the, let me get this toggled back here to, there we go, let me unplug. And then also you saw it cycle, uh, the eyes were cycling automatically. And I'll show you how that works here in a minute. But uh, in-plane switching, uh, as I was saying, LCD screens, their side angle is very, very good. So they're not a cheap, you know, twisted pneumatic TN display, whereby if I would have gone off axis by now, you would have just totally lost that uh, eye, you know, due to refraction of the LCD display. But so they're exactly quite impressive. And I also mentioned in the other video that, uh, that these were $40 at Home Depot. I told you wrong. These are $30 at Home Depot, basically 29, but I just rounded up to 30. So I think that's a pretty good uh, buy. Also, I mentioned that uh, they were probably in short supply. I checked on the site yesterday and uh, guess what? They were sold out. Now, whether they're gonna get any more back, I have no idea. And then if you went you know, to eBay, then you're gonna get uh, really price gouge there, you know, and some people are more reasonable than others when they resell these, but you just always, you just never know. So anyway, they did fit in there and I had to um, uh, do some rigging in there to make them uh, mount in. But luckily these eye sockets in this skull uh, were, uh, they're inset, but they're flat. So on the back side, let me spin him around. You won't be able to see it now because I've got the displays in there, but let me tilt it up here. The white brackets have pretty much close everything up. You can't see it, but those are the actual brackets and everything that come with the, the LCD eyes to go into the big skelly. So um, I rigged it away to mount them, but the, the concave part of the eye was flat so I didn't have a bunch of con weird contouring of the skull to uh, do so all I had to do is I built that up with a little bit of caulking uh, so the eyes coming back towards me pointing towards me were kind of like a they were a, a cone so I just built that area up with some caulk around there and then uh, made a foundation and then I was able to mount the eyes and then uh, hot glue them in to solidify them and hot glue those in there. Uh, another thing that was a plus about this particular skull, not only the size of it, but uh, the jaw uh, has, uh, does, is able to move. It was jointed. So it was already jointed here at this end and jointed here. They just had plastic pins in here. It didn't do anything, but I plan on making him uh, do something. I'll show you, you probably already saw the spring mechanism that I put in here. So what I had to do is go find some square stock. I think I had the square stock that I got from the, uh, um, the farm supply store also. And then the collars, those round collars right here, the round collar, that one there and that one. Uh, I've got those at uh, True Value, and they actually ha happen to fit that uh, square stock. And you ha you, uh, you want to use square stock, but you don't want it to, if you use round stock in there that for that uh, for the bar across, you will uh, take a chance of it slipping. You know, it would be slipping on the joint unless you try to glue it. But that sometimes that doesn't work out very well. So 
And then I ran a spring all the way to the top up here, all the way to the top of the skull, put it on a little angle bracket. So that gives it tension, return. And then I used a longer screw uh, here on that one to get more leverage and then put a wing nut on it so I can adjust it. If I wanna adjust the tension on the spring, you can back it down closer to the shaft and then that would be more tension yet. But the uh, little collars that tighten down right here, they make a perfect bearing. So if I pull, this, pull the activation string, this is how it moves right here. And it's very fluid and there's no hang ups. This spring does its job. And then, uh, and it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure to uh, bring it down, but I'm gonna have to find out what I'm gonna have to have for a motor. There's one or two ways I could do it. Either I'll do it by a MOSFET circuit and have it audio driven, or, um, or I'll have some kind of a, like a synchronous motor of some kind in there or something on a cam to run the mouth, just kind of run it open and close real gentle like. And then I mounted it down here on the foundation. This skull didn't really have anything to mount. So uh, I put a block of wood in here. And then uh, that foundation, that would uh, beef up this area. So you've got a lot of plastic support. And then the two L brackets in here screw up into the wood. And then the, the L brackets then are, uh, were, I drilled that and put that into PVC. This is a little PVC coupling. And these are uh, nuts and bolts here. This, these are just self-tapping screws here with the uh, corner bracket. <clears throat> and then everything was pre-drilled. And then for support in the front, I put a little half inch uh, 90 degree bracket there. And then you see my string coming down, drilled a small hole up in here to uh, bring the mouth down. And then, uh, so if I pull the string from inside right now, I don't have any other way to activate it, but pull the string, then uh, there you have it. That way uh, I can set the uh, activation on it. So anyway, that's how that's going to work. And then all this area up here will be, uh, this will all be covered uh, up on top. Uh, I'll put some decorations up here on top maybe make a little Halloween scene up here on the top of it, you know, and then uh, that would be my version of, uh, of Scully. I love the Scully eyes, but <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> uh, I don't have any place for a 12 foot skeleton. And besides that, the box on that thing is huge. And uh, well, I mean, the whole skeleton is just huge anyway. But anyway, this is my version of it. So luckily they sell the, uh, the upgrade kit. And uh, so uh, that was, a perfect fit it just worked out pretty well that way and then also I uh, kept the nose it has a, a red LED in here and these were the uh, these were the two original eyes right here this is all it did it just you know you hit it it's got a timer circuit you can turn it on it'll run for so many hours and it's shut down but if you hit the try me button uh, these are the the eyeballs that were in there that's what came out of came out of right here but the nose still has a, this LED in there and I'll utilize that as well. So, you know, I mean, so if I do have this thing sound activated, I can have, I can flash the LED on audio as well, run down on that same driver, that same MOSFET driver could drive both of that real easily. And then doing it this way, I had plenty of room in this uh, lower box for me to put my electronics and uh, the motors and whatever I could put down in here. And then this would is a heavy, uh, nylon string very heavy and uh, when you cut this stuff you always want to take a match or a lighter and burn the ends you know that way it keeps it from fraying back but uh, so when you do pull the string this is how it works and then those two collars act as bearings so I had to open these holes here you know drill those bigger of course and then the uh, the jaw up against the skull keeps it from moving laterally this way so the jaw can't move but it is very very loose so that made like excellent little bearings up there for that to to, to be able to move so that worked out pretty well and then i put some uh, hot glue here to, to reinforce the uh, wiring right here and reinforce that 
but the uh, like I said, the uh, mounting worked out. It's amazing what you can do with PVC. There's all kinds of uh, amazing videos out there that what people have taken, uh, you know, deer motors, synchronous motors, and animate their their props with uh, with that kind of stuff. You know, it's pretty neat. And then also they come with a remote control, so you can change the uh, you can change the eyes. And this is an RF remote, so it doesn't you don't have to point it. You just be in the vicinity. So I'll change them to the brown. So there's the brown eyes, or you can turn them off, and then you can turn them back on again. So that's the other option to change the that to change those eyes. And then of course the their option here also the second option is. That I gave you a long wire push button that plugs into this female barrel connector, and uh, you it runs down the back side of that scully, and it uh, you could change it by manually walking up to it and clicking the button either way. But what I did here with the timer is just set it there. It goes right there. Set it for 60 seconds countdown, and I wanted one second um, of relay closure. So that was so. All I need is just one second of relay closure, to uh, if you wanted to, you know, have it automatically cycle through the eyes at whatever time. So I'll plug that back in. Let me get it to uh, something else here. We can go to. Uh, we can go to. We can go to the crazy psycho eyes there, and then. Uh, We'll just, the timer is at 20, 20 seconds right now. So once that counts down, these things are wonderful. They're highly programmable. They're very easy to set up uh, once you decode the uh, language. But here it comes, we're gonna change now. You'll hear it click. So there it is. So there it just changes. So every minute it'll change through uh, all eight of the different eyes that are available. It'd be really great if this thing had a way to uh, to upload um, <laughs> different eye patterns to it. You know, different. These are probably just like video files that are that are in there. That I imagine to for that. It would be great to uh, if they could have a way to uh, upload that. But anyway. So that worked out pretty well, and uh, we'll I'll do some other uh, videos as I evolve this thing some more so that's the the video of my uh my version of the uh, scully skull which is a smaller version of it but also be uh, animated as well okay well thank you as always for watching my videos if you got any comments please leave them below we'll talk to you all later